Hey, this is Andy, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get started in SharePoint. One of the most common things is you install SharePoint, you get going, and you don't know how to deploy data to get your users into the system and start getting used to SharePoint. So one of the things I like to do is I look around the office or in a team, and I find some piece of information that's either getting emailed back and forth or printed often, and I make that my target for SharePoint. Now, more often than not, I find out that's an Excel spreadsheet. And what's great about SharePoint is I can import Excel spreadsheets right in natively into SharePoint. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing to do is go up to Site Actions, choose More Options, and then I'll filter by List, and click Import Spreadsheet. Now I click the Create button, and it's going to ask me a name for this. Since my sample data is employee information, that's what I'm going to name this list. Now I'll throw in a brief description. And now I'm ready to select my Excel spreadsheet. Now, like I said, I've got some sample data to work with here. Now when I click the import button in the background, Excel is going to open up. And so let me bring that window to front here. And you can see there's my spreadsheet and it's defaulting to table range. Really what I want though is a range of cells. So I'm going to change this drop down list because that's the only data that I need to pick up. And then rather than typing it in, I'll go ahead and clear this field out. And now I've got the picker where I can just pull from the top left down to the bottom right. Now when I click import, it's going to create my list. There it is. And you can see all the data that came over from this, the Excel spreadsheet right as line items in here. And I can add a new item using the fields because it pulled the column data in as the new columns for SharePoint. Great. So now my information's in there. It's easy to manipulate. In fact, I can come in and I could delete one of the old ones, or in this case, I'll just delete the one that I just created. And now changes to this list are much quicker, much easier than the Excel document, and it's everywhere. Now the problem right now, though, is this isn't easy, easily accessible. So I just need to turn on the navigation feature for this list and have it display in the quick launch bar. So I'll click yes here, click save. And now you'll note on the left that the employees list is now available to everyone right out of the gate. Now I want you to notice something else that's going on in this list. If we look over to the zip code field, you'll notice that it's got a comma, a comma in there. And that's because of what it assumed that field was. So I'm going to go into list. I'm going to go to list settings. And I need to go down to that column and change its properties. Rather than have it as a number where it'll throw in that comma, we want to go ahead and set this to a single line of text. That way it'll display our zip code properly. And I'll just go ahead and save that setting. Now it's going to warn me that data could be lost. That really doesn't come into play here because we really do only have numbers in there. And then back to the list, and there it is. So that's how to import an Excel spreadsheet right as a list into SharePoint and give your employees a much easier way to edit, manage, and find this type of data.